Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and you won't believe how easy and fast this beautiful poncho it is. I love the result. You can make it and use it in different ways like this of the shoulder with this shorter part and the longest part in the back or in one side. You will decide and I hope that you will make it with me and enjoy the process. That's the most important. Well, first I want to invite all of you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking this video. Please don't forget to leave me a comment and to share this video if you like it. Well, first I will give you the material list and then the step by step and all my secrets and tips. So well, let's start. Okay, so we are going to need for this poncho, this is a standard size, 300 grams of this material and two different hooks, 3.5 millimeters and 5 millimeters. Well, with this hook and with one thread of this material that it's between light and fine material, as you could see, I will start making 100 chains, okay, like this. Well, at the end of the 100 chains, we are going to close in circle, we are going to slip one, okay, like this, remember, as I was telling you, this is a standard size, so it will be perfect for any size, small, medium, large, so I think it's perfect. Probably at the end you will reduce in the neck if you want. Well, now we are going to start making this B a stitch. So we will go up first with five chains, then yarn over, take one, take two, and the last two. So here we have the first B, as you could see in the same space. Again, turn over, skip one, and in the second one, right there, we are going to make a double crochet. Then two chains, again, turn over in the same space, a double crochet out of three crochet, skip one, turn over and in the next space again a V. We are going to make these three segments of three V's together and remember that we are making this um, shawl, this poncho, with a, ba a longer back, okay? so. I will show you how we are going to make it. So these first three, one space between, then we are going to leave two spaces between them and to divide these three segments of B, okay? And then we are going to come back and make the same. We are just going to leave one space between B's. So again, we will repeat three segments of three B's, leaving one space between B's. And then at the end of this segment of three bees together, well, we are going to skip two and in the third we will start. And like this is how we are going to continue the whole row. Okay, so here these three segments, then two spaces, and again three segments, I mean three bees, and between bees one space. Well, at the end of the row, please try and check that you didn't twist. Once we are sure, we are going to slip one to close. Then we will slip one inside of this B. Then we will go up with five chains. And then we are going to make in the same space a double crochet. And we are going to continue in this row making B over B. As you could see between B's, I'm not making any chain or so. Right away, I'm jumping to the next space to make the next B. And well, I will continue like this, making more rows. Remember that at the end, we are going to reduce more the neck. We are going to make main, more rows until we arrive to the elbows. Well, here I arrive to the elbows. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve rows. So then we are going to start making the back. As you could see here in the neck, I see a little bit white, but don't worry because we are going to make an extra stitch. If you want, we can make this step so, and then we can continue with the back. So I will show you, here I have this thread. So this is where we are going to start making a single crochet row all around if you want to skip 
and to reduce more, skip some spaces. Then we are going to continue with the stitch where we are going to make the longer back. Okay, so here in the neck we are going to start to reduce. I love how it looks with the crochet of number 5 millimeters. I wanted to make this stitch a little bit loose and open because I want to make this poncho fresh and perfect for this coming summer. So that's why I use this technique. So also we are going to continue using this a hook too. So right here where is this thread is where we are going to start. Remember that this will depend on you. I like this poncho a little bit off the shoulders but if you want to close your neck more well you can do it. I will start making first in each stitch one single crochet. I will make first a segment of four single crochet and then I will skip one okay and like this is how I will control and reduce uh, the spaces in order and again I will make four single crochet and skip one if you want you can make three single crochet and skip one and you will see okay it will depend if you want to reduce more or no okay so here at the end I will slip one to close and here we finish this first row okay and here in this step you will decide if you want to reduce more if you want you can continue making more rows of single crochet and skipping some spaces okay you will decide in this case I wanted a little bit of the shoulder so I will stop producing here and I will make now a crab stitch row the crab stitch is like the single crochet but backwards okay so because i want my neck opened and off the shoulder and also take into account that if you want to continue making more rows here in the neck probably you will need more yarn and i want to make the back longer so uh, you will decide to i will continue and as I was telling you here also in this step if you want to reduce even more well you can skip some spaces too while you make this row of craft stitch but also you will decide please try on if you want to reduce more or no okay so see you at the end of this row well so we are going to divide now that we finish the neck okay please try on if you need you can make more rows so well here I divide here is where I have this thread I count how many V's do I will leave for the front I put a marker right there and we will stop making rows there and then we are going to make the second level from here and in the back in this case for the front I leave 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 16. We have a little bit less than what we have if we divide exactly in half. Well so from here to the other side, I mean in the back, we are going to start making a half moon, okay? And we are going to continue with the stitch. Also I will tell you how we are going to reduce because we are going to kind of blend the stage okay so i will show you how we are going to make this second part well okay we are going to blend the stages okay so we are going to skip in right in the beginning so we will go up first with four rows sorry with four chains we will skip this b and right in the next one we are going to continue with the V's and here we will have a kind of leaning stitch you see so from there is where we are going to continue from one side and to the other side and also we are going to make the same at the end well so here we are at the end so we are going to turn over and jump and skip like we made in the other side uh, a triple double crochet like this and then turn around and we are going to continue well here at the end also we are going to start the next row by also 
going up with four chains, skipping one, and we will repeat. We are going to make more rows like this, reducing one B at the beginning and at the end of the row. Okay, so like this, we are going to continue also making more Vs with the same stitch, and we will have a half moon and a beautiful tail right there in the back. So let's continue like this. Well, so, so far we have something like this. As you could see here, we kind of blend and we reduce one at the beginning and at the end of the row. And I continue making more rows and we have something like this. Please be careful because once I stop and I did continue and I didn't realize. So put attention, put a marker to point it out where to finish and where to start the row. Here, if you want like, the end and more reduce well you can continue making more rows I have two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and eleven this I will make one more and then we are going to make the edge all around with flowers so please take that also into account that we are going to make more rows well, for the flowers, we are going to use the other crochet hook that we will use the number 3.5 millimeters. So we will go up with two chains and in the next space, we are going to make a double crochet. So right here inside this double crochet is where we are going to start making the flowers. So we are going to make two chains and inside a double crochet, then a, th a second double crochet, then a third double crochet and we are going to make two chains and again inside we are going to slip one to close then two chains and here we have the first petal now we are about to make the second petal so here we have three and four double crochet then two chains and we are going to move the space and slip one to close so here we have two petals and remember we made two double crochet well and like this like we crochet these two petals in this double crochet well in the other double crochet we are going to make two petals right there so for example we have the thread in the other side and we want to crochet the other two petals right there so we will take this thread in the back and then we are going to uh, take the stitch right here in front and we are going to jump to the double crochet and we are going to make the same so one two chains and we are going to start making the third petal right inside of the other double crochet. Remember, remember that each petal has four double crochet together inside. At the end, we are going to make two chains and a slip one to close right here inside. Then let's make the second double uh, the second petal sorry right here inside of this double crochet and the secret of this stitch as you could see it's that we crochet the um, the flowers at the same time so uh, you don't have to crochet them apart if you want you can do them and probably sew them but I wanted to show you this other option so you can have it in mind and we can make this poncho a bit different. Remember that I always try to share different ideas so we can learn together. So well, this flower will has five petals. So far we have four right here. So we are going to make the fifth petal right here in the top. So we will go up here with two chains and again inside in this uh, circle we are going to make the fifth petal. Okay, so here at the end we are going to finish with this fourth double crochet 
we are going to make two chains and right there inside we are going to slip one so here we have the five petals of this flower so easy right well in this stitch while well, we crochet the flowers well we are going to continue with the rest of the stitch so for example here we finish one a flower we are going to make one chain okay here to divide and then we are going to jump to the next space and right here we are going to make a V so it's a this double crochet out of three crochet and then two chains and again a double crochet to make a V well then we will jump to the next space and right here in the middle we are going to make a double crochet then next to it a well right here in the chain a second double crochet remember that this will be the base to make the flowers so in this a double crochet that we have just made we are going to start making the first two petals then in the other the next two petals and in the top one petal okay so right here is where I want to show you so as you could see in the uh, last petal that we made so in the last double crochet we made the two petals then we are going to turn around we are going to pass the thread right here let me take the hook okay so we are going to have the thread right here in the top and now in this double crochet inside we are going to make the next two uh, petals so this is how we are going to continue remember each petal has four double crochet Then here we are going to make the fourth petal and then the fifth petal will be right there in the top. We are going to slip one and then the fifth petal. So like this is how we are going to continue after each flower with five petals we are going to make a V. Remember that the fifth petal will be right here in the top in this space, okay? So remember that after each flower we are going to make the V. I know that I have did you more flowers and you may like other flowers, right? If you want to put the flowers and decorate this poncho with that flowers, well you can make them apart and sew them later as i was telling you in this case i wanted to make this stitch that you don't have to make the flowers apart while we crochet this stitch we are making the flowers and i think that it's easy and it looks beautiful and also now you know a different technique and well remember that after each flower we are going to make the V and in the next space we are going to make the two double crochet that will be the base for us to make the flowers so like this is how we are going to continue the whole row it doesn't matter it, it doesn't you doesn't have to make a v over v okay if it happened well you won't make it but please follow this sequence the flower the v and the two double crochet the flower and remember that the flower will go over the two double crochet that we will make as a base and everything in the first row in the same row okay so like this is how we are going to continue the whole row all around and also if you want here in this part you can change color and make this row of flowers in a different color i think it will be uh it will look good and it will give a different touch so let's continue all around but well i will crochet this row and I will see you at the end to show you how it looks so let's continue like this well here I want to give you a quick quick note okay I was while I was making this row I feel that I the shape was distorting too much 
and so I just rather and I decided to make chains between the flowers let me see where I started to make right here right here is where I made chains between flowers and flowers and in the middle I put the V as you could see here so in this case after and before the flowers I will make two chains and remember to make the V that's the only change that we are going to make in this stitch and you will see also because it will depend of how you crochet if you feel that making two chains after and before each flower is too much well um, just don't do the flowers okay but you will see don't uh, make the chains sorry but you will see so for example you may see that the flowers are like this but don't worry when you iron them it will they will look so much better i suggest that you only iron the flowers and the rest of the poncho you leave it like this okay don't iron that part only the flowers please extend them okay so uh don't worry about it and also it relax if you feel that you crochet too tight these flowers and they start to distort too much well change the number of your hook for a bigger number or crochet a little bit loose also after and before each flowers you will decide how many chains you will leave well so what do you think as you could see i only made one row of flowers and i love it i love how they look i only um, iron the flowers and the rest of the stitch i leave it like this i hope that you will enjoy making this beautiful poncho with me as you could see it's super easy and super fast and i hope that you all make it with me please if you like this video don't forget to share it also don't forget to give me a like and don't forget to subscribe and follow me in all my social media thank you so much take care